So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> Oli kolmi sormis mai, oli reikä rauta braun. Ja tapahtuma paikkana oli Jackson Willie Town. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they uh -huh. shall be called... Hey Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No uh -huh. doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean... I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adjusco boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance you gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Say that I understand. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Hmm. Uh, fine. My Fucked up there. Morgan, let's go then. Yep. Oh. You know, I've been fighting Calm for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. I'm just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head? What am I up here? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts. Okay, there is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? 
Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Need to tie that thing, Cabela. From the look of them, I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plain. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Käteen. Varmasti väijytys. Ottaisikohan ne, että siellä on tarkka ampuja.
Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered you a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. <laughs> I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not. <laughs> I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? <clears throat> Ain't it kind of thing to speak to the law? <clears throat> that has to be crap. It ain't worth the risk. Colum's got to sit. He's escaping. Shoot him. Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. <clears throat> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> not yet. But I will. <laughs> Johonkin suuntaan tuosta pitäisi lähteä. Se on aika kova tyyppi kyllä. Finally! Put his weapons over there! Kaveri vaan syö. Ne ottaa noita noista palkkion erää herroiksi sillä. Let me go, Colm, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you, hand you in, then disappear. So you only met with him. Ah, to okay, and you'll have to touch him. Of course. He's gonna be so mad. Fun He gonna come raging over here, and a whole lot of you, and the law will be waiting for him. Arthur, <laughs> Arthur. 
Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> Se ei välttämättä ollut fiksua. Ah, polttaa haava upea. Toikaan ei välttämättä ole fiksua. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. We better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me.
meni. Ehkä. Ehkä. Uh, I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He was gonna set the law on her. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. That's what I've learned to handle about that. You sit with him a while. Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. Me, one of I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. the peacemakers called peacemaker
Listen, Morgan. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought they would shoot me, not you. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, the whole thing was odd. I kept waiting for, for them to jump us, and then they left, and we assumed we'd meet you on the trail. You never showed up. No. I was getting special guest treatment from Como Driscoll. Uh, so I heard. I'm sorry. One time I, I, I try to be wise and careful and make a goddamn fool of myself. That'll teach me. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right then, cowpoke. Ruoka ei näytä olevan valmista. Hey, Mary Beth. Glad to see you back on your feet. A few new scars, but I'll live. Good morning, Arthur. My lady. How are you, Tilly? How are you, more to the point? Feeling better? Yeah, I'll live. Enemmän tai vähemmän takaisin hommiin sitten. What? Why? Don't you disrespect me, boy. I did it. Damn, Bill. You know, I don't like Morning, your Morning, Arthur. Attitude. You be well, well too. Then. I'll try. Ah, I really will. Damn right, it's okay. Stay out of this, Morgan. The boy needs to learn some respect. Whatever you say. Half shit. Stay calm. You ain't giving up on us, are you? No, of course not. But this hey, is Sadie. no situation for Abigail so and the boy. So you didn't get Como Driscoll? No. And I'm feeling better, by the way. Cheers. Morning to you. Miss Grimshaw? Ah, you're looking much better. I was worried. You did good with that graze business. Like I told you, I was born burning down manor houses. Let's just hope it was all worth the trouble. So, Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember my old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Flesh for dinner. Can I help you? Oh, well, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. Turn up in town, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles. 
everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. Men getting killed. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They Tell killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Hevosvaaren kanssa. Sitä kuulemma hirvitetään Teksasissa. Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Okay. <sighs> All right then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I. Okay then. But... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Yeah. Passing you. All right. That's it. Nice and easy. Need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, 
Let's hitch up here. Hold. Let me do the talk. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. <laughs> uh, three, sir, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy now. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier? You're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. What the hell? trouble. Whoa! You okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Yeah. Whoa there. Easy. Easy there. Easy. Hmm. Uh, easy. That's your point, I'm going to say. 
Ja saattaa saada muuten. Aa, mitä? Sitä en pääsi karkuun. Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that so sure pop I'm Clay Davies that's my brother Clive we're twins John Arthur Javier <clears throat> so what are you Cuban no I don't like Cubans that so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Oli meni kyllä alihinta. Aika pahastikki. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. 